Hello Wizarding World of Harry Potter fans and welcome to another That's Just Joe video. My name is Joe and that's about it. So, a bit of big news just coming in. Uh, well, not just coming in. It's been a couple of hours since, but haven't had time to talk about it until now. Um, it has been revealed uh, that the future of Harry Potter is not within film. It is within TV. Uh, HBO Max, uh, Warner Brothers are planning, according to Deadline, to do a Harry Potter TV show. Um, first impressions? What? And the reason for that, what, is because it's basically going to be the books again. So what we've seen in the films. But each season, supposedly how it would go is each season is the book. I don't know how many episodes it would consist of or anything. It's way too early to say anything. But Deadline is saying the long-rumoured Harry Potter TV series for HBO Max is on track to clear the p biggest hurdle in its path to the screen. A deal with the book's author J.K. Rowling, who has creative control over any exploitation of her work. Now, we all know there's a lot of controversy around J.K. Rowling at the moment uh, and has been for a while. Uh, and it is also, I don't know if it's in this article, but I saw in discussing film that, um, not that, <laughs> that J.K. Rowling will be involved in the Harry Potter remake for HBO so she can ensure it remains loyal to her original material. However, she will not be the showrunner. So this, this is a bit of a downer for a lot of people, obviously, who are uh, offended by her comments and remarks in the past and present, actually. She continues to uh, just bash uh, transgender people and everything but we won't go into that controversy I think first impressions finding out they want to do a Harry Potter television show still based on the book so it's a remake but in television form my first reaction is why why do we need to see this story again true they could flesh it out more they could do more that was in the books that wasn't in the films I think one of the biggest re reasons I'd probably look forward to this is the fleshing out of the Half-Blood Prince book. Obviously, that had a lot of Tom Riddle's backstory and so on. Um, so when they get to the eighth, se uh, sixth season, <laughs> we'll finally have a fleshed out Tom Riddle, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, Warner Bros. is in talks to Rowling to join the project as producer. Deadline has confirmed once she comes on board the project which is in early stages, is expected to look for a writer. As first reported by Bloomberg, the general idea for each season of the potential TV series is to focus on one book in the Harry Potter book series, which consists of seven novels. Um, this is going to be very difficult for Warner Brothers. This is a big, big deal in terms of the, uh, the future of the franchise. Um, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav has stressed multiple times his focus of franchises with mining the Harry Potter IP identified as a priority. And he has been saying that in investor calls recently and so on. I don't know, man. I don't know. It could work. It could. And it's been way over 10 years since the last film came out. Obviously, we've had the Fantastic Beast films come out, which have been hit and miss. I think the first one, I, I was actually quite... I actually liked the first one quite a bit, uh, but the, the second and the third, the third one was just not brilliant. So it does seem reasonable why they would be going this direction. Now the problem is, is Harry Potter is so ingrained into pop culture and these people that played these characters like Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, Ralph Fiennes as Voldemort, you know, all those people, and the plan is to reboot it. I'm kind of shocked that this is going to be a thing. Um, and I think the deal's going to be reached, definitely, um, to make the TV show. To be honest, I think Hogwarts Legacy, considering how much money it's made and how much attention it got, and people are still playing it to this day, uh, I think it's been about a month or two months since it was released, nearly two months. Why are they not doing a brand new story set in Hogwarts with new characters. I think that's way more interesting. They could do a prequel series. I'm kind of confused why they never went into a Tom Riddle sort of franchise, why they didn't explore Voldemort's backstory more, uh, but set in the same world as the Harry Potter movies that have come out. There's been a lot of opportunity and they went for Fantastic Beasts, which I find quite confusing. Um, I know Fantastic Beasts was supposed to be a five five part franchise, uh, leading up to the big battle with Dumbledore and Grindelwald, um, but it just hasn't worked out. The audience hasn't been wanting it, really. So I understand why Warner Brothers are desperate to keep hold of the IP and to keep it fresh by doing a television show. 
But is it going to work? That's the big question. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this? Would you watch the Harry Potter TV show? I'm definitely going to watch it, there's no doubt. And I'm sure they're going to sell me with the trailers and merchandise and so on. And just the nostalgia of Harry Potter. But I am a little apprehensive. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And may the force be with you. It's the wrong film.